court, the law is very clear. His conscience is not. Ati Zakaya wafanya nini? Zakaya wafanya nini? Zakaya wafanya nini? Zakaya wafanya nini? Wewe, yapo mbele. Yabidi mtulie kwa anza Zakaya shuke. Kama mtashuka na Zakaya. Tulie. Hapa tunaongelea bitu ya maisha. This is why Kenyans on Twitter have become President Ruto's worst nightmare. There is a reason why Kenyans on Twitter, fondly known as KOT, are feared by the powers that be. Their digital wrath is swift, relentless, and well orchestrated, often striking more fear into the hearts of the government officials than a protest on the streets ever could. <laughs> Ati Zakaya afanya nini? Zakaya afanya nini? Zakaya ametukandamiza na itabidi ashuke. Na Zakaya ni bad governance. Zakaya si Ruto peke yake. Zakaya ni bad governance watu. So lethal are they that even politicians and the police break into a cold sweat when KOT unites with one mission. Take the recent saga of the Kitengela trio for example. Weeks after the mysterious abductions, both the National Police Service and the Directorate of Criminal Investigation issued a bewildering statement. They didn't have the trio in their custody. To the sharp eyes of KOT, this official narrative smelled fishy. How do three individuals disappear into thin air under the watch of a competent police unit? Surely. If the police can't bring back the trio, dead or alive, then something more sinister is at play. They reasoned on Twitter. Now, KOT wasted no time in issuing their verdict. Armed with hashtags, posts, and viral threads, they didn't just demand answers, they threatened actions. We marched to the streets if necessary. They won't. But the crescendo didn't stop there. They even promised to crush President Ruto's Mashuja Day celebrations in Kuala Stadium on October 20th, 2024, with one clear goal, to embarrass the president on international media over the disappearance, the killings during the Gen Z protest, and the fate of the Kitengela trio. Continue with the work you are doing. Number three is the final one. This is mine. Mnakumbuka a few weeks ago they were hosting CG passionate for Haiti CG harmony for Haiti CG nini we joked around about going to that event so eh? and uh, this one I know Ruto and your people you are listening we joked around about coming to harmony for Haiti we were joking we were not serious so eh? but these guys were so scared they closed the gates they closed the gates wakajifungia ndani People, the people of the Republic of Kenya were not allowed to enter into a free concert in Harmony for Haiti. That is being organized with our taxes. This is a very passionate appeal. Morara Kebaso, I want you, this is my responsibility to you. Achana Taitataveta Sasa. Matuga, Kwale County, 20th of October, Mashujadi. This is our celebration. It belongs to the people of the Republic of Kenya. I want each and every Kenyan listening to this space, wherever you are in Kenya, in Lodwa, in Mandera, in, 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 to, in, in, in Taitataveta, in Mombasa, in Kisi, in Kisumu, wherever. I want all of us to go to Matuga in Kwale County on the 20th of October because we, I want us to go and celebrate. We are done mourning. We are going to celebrate the lives of our 300 Kenyans that this criminal route has murdered in cold blood between June and now. I'm seeing reports now of Comrade Bomb Dagi has already been. Guys, I need you to come to Matuga. We are going to shame Ruto in international media. I have already booked my flight. I have already told my boss, whatever he does, I am going to be in Kenya on the 20th of October. I'm going to be in Matuga. And I want each and every one of you to come with your flag and your bottle of water. Morara, I want you to bring that PA system of ours. Tulilipia na pesa yetu. So, I want you to bring it because to tapiga kelele diani, to pige kelele lunga lunga, to pige kelele tukisonga wapi, tukienda uwanjani, we will start at 5 a.m., at 4 a.m., it doesn't matter. Ruto by time anafika, tunapatana na yu wanjani, then we tell him, Ruto, you must go. Asante ni sana. Their threats were no empty words as Kenyans gathered in Twitter spaces bringing plans for potential chaos. It seems... The whispers traveled far and wide. 
Now, in a shocking twist, two of the missing trio, that is Aslam Longton and his brother Jamil Longton, were suddenly released by their captors. Out of nowhere, a photo of the brothers surfaced online. The president of the Law Society of Kenya, Faith Odhiambo, broke the news, posting the photo saying, I am informed that Jamil Longtong and his brother Aslam were dumped at the Gashie border between Kiambu and Nairobi by their captors. Every prayer and intervention made a difference. We thank God that they are safe, she said. For the Longtong family, this was a miracle that they've been praying for. Even as their lawsuit against former acting Inspector General of Police Gilbert Masengeli continued to cast a dark shadow. Yet, while the long tones rejoiced the fate of Bob Mjagi, one of the Kitengela trio who had also been abducted, plucked from a matatu by masked men, remains unknown. His family have their fingers crossed despite rumors going round that he might have been murdered.